a new feature has recently been added to Boost CV Android demonstration that lets you build a 3D point cloud by simply scanning for camera. While the results can look very good, there is still a lot of room for improvement since this is just a first pass. First, you will need to launch a demonstration application by selecting Structure for Motion, then Uncalibrated MVS. Use the viewfinder first to get close to the object and put in a position that you want to start at. Then click reset. At this point you should start moving with a translational motion. Let me emphasize that some more. Translate your camera from left and right, don't rotate, and also minimize forwards or backwards motions since that will probably cause you to have bad results. Now back to the video. The black dots are features it's tracking. You want to see a bunch of those all spread out. When they turn red, that's telling you it decided there was enough 3D information for a new keyframe. If you rotate too much, there will be a warning message. It will automatically stop at 30 frames, or when you touch the screen, you can make it stop early. It can take a bit to uh, process, so it's recommended that the first time, you stop after 10 frames or so until you get used to it. What's doing now is figuring out which frames have a strong 3D relationship with each other. It then selects seed to do the initial projective to metric escalation and then does a bundle adjustment to refine it. And then the next steps after that is to do a multi baseline stereo uh, disparity. And what that does is takes the now known metric reconstruction and computes multiple stereo images from it. From these stereo images, a point file cloud is created and uh, you're now looking at the results of that. By touching the left and right and top part of the screen, you can roll pitch and yaw. Although, I'm doing something wrong with the camera transform, so it's not quite doing what I want to at the moment. To translate, touch the center and move around, and then pinch and zoom can be used to zoom in and out. The leftmost menu lets you change views and see intermediate results again. The debug view can be useful to see why not everything was shown. It will often drop frames if there was an issue with them. When viewing keyframes and disparity images, you can tap the screen to move to another image or swipe left and right to do the same. The sparse reconstruction uses pseudo color to make it easier to see, and it tends to be a very accurate 3D reconstruction. If you click save, it will save the results for later viewing or processing. I'll show you how to load it from your phone later on. You can also configure how the disparity is computed by tweaking these options, and if you click OK, I'll recompute just the disparity images. To get access to the data that you just collected in a 3D model, first plug your Android device into your PC and mount it as a USB storage device. Then click on the device and go into it. Go to Android, Data, scroll down and look for BoofCV Android, or org booth CV Android. Click on Files, click on MVS, and then drag the data set that you want. They're automatically labeled with the time and the Unix timestamp. And then we'll just look at one of the images. Well, you can see all the images right here. The point cloud itself is saved as a PLOI file, which can be read by many 3D point cloud readers. Later on, I'll come out with a video explaining all the technical details of how I got this to work. But for now, if you enjoy this, please share it with others, and try not to creep out your neighbors too much by creating 3D models of everything in your neighborhood. Thanks, and later.